Hey everybody, it's Rob here from the Necromancer doing billions of damage with pets, as you can see here. Boom, 1.3 billion, 2 to the druid doing literally trillions of damage. I want to make this video as overview and feedback for the most overtuned and broken builds on the PTR. So welcome in. The first thing we're going to look at is minion necro pets multi-dipping damage multipliers. I did not play much necro. I have only heard from people and we've seen videos of uh, people absolutely like one-shotting bosses on the necros. And I just want to show you a few here, like lots of them are in Billy Billy, so I apologize for the quality. I'm going to put um, the descriptions for these, uh, the links uh, in the description. So big shout out to all these creators that, that made these and, and figured them out. There, there was only one week of PTR, no way to, you know, uh, get into everything. Um, but let's just look at some of the stuff here. So you see here just a necro like uh, attacking a target dummy like randomly. And this is just some pets do doing no damage basically. And then suddenly, for no reason apparently, there is just a, a number that is in the 6.6 .6 billion damage range. And this is whenever the golem hits, because it's double penta, triple dipping, I don't know how much dipping, um, all the multipliers um, with the pets. So um, it's pretty insane. And I think there's another video here where he also showcases this uh, on Duriel. So you see here, like how the, this is the hardest boss in the game. And you can kind of see the chunks similar to the, it's actually probably stronger uh, than some of the druid stuff that we did. Um, you can just see here, boom, like how the uber boss just melts in, in seconds here, in a four-man party, by the way. So he, he just hits the boss for like 10 billion damage with the um, with the various things. There's, there's two different builds, basically. So first you have the minions. Actually, close this. So first you have the minions, multi-dipping. And um, yeah, there's just like some insane damage numbers in the middle of the boss fights here. And you have another thing that's that's uh, scaling insane damage, and this is the um, Embodiment Piercer Shadow Blight Necro. It's triggering like double lucky hits. I think there was like a pretty impressive boss fight that I've seen here, and some target dummy things. And this is like the, the the number of madness that this thing can produce. It's like some broken lucky hit stuff. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Uh, let me know how it works uh, if you know in the comments. But uh, you can see here like how many numbers this is producing every time. And this, uh, I think it just goes instantly up to the boss and one shots it. Uh, I think it's this link here. Where he just... And this is like a solo uber Duriel kill. And you guys can see it. This is even stronger than um, the druid stuff. You can see here, like, the uber boss, he just spawns and he kills him in, like, three hits, four hits. And you, you can see, like, these crazy damage numbers. Again, I apologize for the um, for the poor quality. But these are definitely builds that need a look at. And I'm so happy that we finally have a PTR server where all this stuff can be addressed. And, uh, yeah, Necromancer is useful and also bugged five different ways. So, yeah, the, the numbers are insane. And in my opinion, you should never be on any class be able to just walk up to an uber boss and just like kill him in under five seconds. And most of these builds that I'm going to showcase here today uh, are doing that. So, yeah, these are the two Necromancer builds. I'm not too experienced with Necro. I'm going to have the links in the description. There's also planner links. Uh, and this is like most people in the in, in the West are, are doing this here. This is all on Billy Billy. And yeah, these necros, like again, minion multi-dipping, uh, the, the um, golem actually hitting for uh, billions of damage for no apparent reason. And then the um, e-bone piercer, like just completely triggering like lucky hits. I'm not exactly sure how it works. But yeah, there's these two broken builds, like the math is just wrong and I really hope these are gonna get fixed. The next build we're gonna look at is the Firebolt Sork. Um, there's also a pretty impressive uh, kill here. This is on a four-player Greg, just with Firebolt. And apparently there's a bug where you can uh, triple dip the projectile when you shoot in this firewall. You can see here how many projectiles he fires. It's, it's way more than three on many occasions. You can see like these kind of double procs happening. And this, this boss has 10 billion life or something. And see here in real time how fast he actually melts him. 
You can see the dot here is starting at 100 million, ticking up to 200 million. Like, and this is a dot that ticks twice per second. So it's like half a billion DPS and higher with the Sork. And if you stand in the right angle, like it just works like a machine gun. And instantly, again, this is like four player health killing Uber Greg. So this is even more impressive than the Necro damage, I think. Or than some of the Necro damage, at least. It's, it's essentially like half a billion to a billion DPS per second. And I think there was another run here that uh, Mikuna linked me, which was basically a solo kill, but he didn't use the bug, uh, where you just uh, position yourself in a certain angle on the firewall and just uh, penta dip with this kind of stuff. So you can see this is like a, a normal kill, but it's still um, super insane, basically. He was not really like optimized. This was on day two of the PTR. So you guys can see here like how fast the boss takes down. So it's like about 15 seconds kill or something on this sorcerer. But yeah, like apparently you can position yourself in a certain way um, to do this massive damage. Let me actually open a sword planner here to show this to you. So that's the new, I think it's, uh, it's gloves that are doing this. So we're going season four. Yeah, it's, it's the new unique that they added basically for Sorcerer. Now, what are these called? It's not the Pangongler. I hear this one. It's the uh, Flame Weaver Gloves. Casting fireball through your firewall causes it to split into four balls, dealing uh, damage. So. Apparently, if you stack firewalls a certain way or you shoot at them at a certain angle, it splits into way more than four bolts, uh, doing this insane amount of damage. So we're kind of like starting at the bottom here of the list. And then next, we have the Frosty Stride Sorg power level. This is a pretty crazy build as well. And big shout out to Mekuna and Lexi who linked this to me. So this is the build in action. This video here is by Mikuna. And he basically just blasts through um, a run. This will also be able to kill bosses very fast. And this is kind of the, the speed that the Sork has. This is the hardest uh, pit in the game, the hardest content. And he just like one shots like all the elites basically, kills everything instantly. And apparently there's a bug where when you roll this aspect of frosty strides on the amulet, you see, you don't even need any skills. Like, he just plays two skills, that's it. So he's completely immortal, because this is a second bug, or, like, interaction that is pretty broken, with Hectic and the new Flame Shield Duration Aspect, um, Tempering, not Aspect, you can actually be a full immortal sword. Like, you have permanent... You see here his Flame Shield, whenever it's about to run out, he can just recast it. So he doesn't need to stack any toughness. Like, he doesn't need any other skills. It's because this aspect alone is just killing everything here like you pull an elite speed of light and you one shot absolutely everything so there you go you just pull on it boom boom everything dies and yeah that's pretty much the run here i don't know let's see the boss fight here real quick i think the boss is also like extremely fast so yeah this is like the level 200 boss fight and you can see every time this thing procs it hits for like 50 million there i saw oh yeah it's uh, it's pretty insane too and the main reason that this happens is because of this aspect here aspect of the frosty strides so why we lower certain life and you can see in the video uh, like he does not play low life but he's like playing at 80 percent life and that's because when you put this on the amulet this is where the bug comes in it becomes wait for it this so it goes from 55 and 11,000. For some reason, it's bugged on the PTR. It goes to 83 and 100,000 damage almost. So every time he um, is below this life shred hold and just evades, he hits the monsters for 100,000 damage, which is, you know, 25, 30x your weapon damage. So yeah, uh, this build's pretty nuts. And on top of this, this is the second thing that I um, that I have here is the the sword is completely immortal because. There is a new, um, I think you get it on weapons. I'm not, I'm not sure where you get it. Like there's a new tempering effect that you um, increase your flame shield duration. And whenever the flame shield runs out, you just have time to recast it. And essentially like ignoring all damage, ignoring all toughness. I've also seen uh, videos 
where people do this in PvP and uh, completely just ignore basically the entire game. Like you don't need to do any mechanics, you don't need to dodge anything. Like you're just a fully immortal Sorg and you can't die and you have 100k damage every time you press your evade button. Okay, then to the next build, this is the Frozen Orb Sorg. This is not really relying on a bug. I should probably say here, this is not power level, uh, bugged amulet. Again, I'm gonna link this sheet in the description. You can watch these videos yourself. Uh, I also like compiled a, a huge list with feedback that I will also uh, be doing a separate video that I'm gonna be sending to Blizzard that I'm gonna be um, you know sharing on YouTube here as well. So next one is the Frozen Orb Sorg. This is not really a bug, but it's an insanely overpowered build which um, kills uber bosses pretty much just as fast in a few seconds. Yeah, the amulet has a 1.5 multiplier. It should not be, you know, however much it is. And this here is a video from Acorite, and he's killing uh, Uber Uber Greg, the hardest, uh, like one of the hardest bosses in the game here, with his frozen orb sword. And I don't know if this is really the power level that we want, um, but this build is is a cool build. Don't get me wrong, but it is extremely strong, and I think they don't necessarily need to nerf these builds. But then please. Um, buff the level because this build is not bugged it's just strong but if they don't nerf these builds then maybe it would be good to you know make these uber bosses a bit stronger like they, they there should be no world in my opinion where you kill these uber bosses in under 20 seconds with these kind of builds it's just insane so yeah we'll have to see how that's gonna turn out but yeah this is the frozen orb i mean this is like not completely broken but it's pretty strong um, then we come to the Druid, and you guys may have already uh, seen it. I made this video myself because I was testing this class, actually. Aside from all the bad stuff that we will also talk about here in a second. It's the uh, Hurricane Boulder, also completely one-shotting uh, every boss in the game. Like you can just see here the Duriel, like he doesn't even have time to spawn. He gets hit with 10 billion in his face. And yeah, this is like an indefinitely stacking, overpower snapshotting uh, crazy build that also is using an unlimited uh, scaling passive and uh, yeah it's uh, pretty strong it one shots everything in the game and also a build that i think just needs uh, a bug fix and also a look at because they said they don't really want snapshotting in the game uh, but yet here we have the overpower snapshotting over the entire hurricane duration so this also exists and yeah it's um, pretty strong here you can see here like i don't know what was that hit for uh, like 200, like half a, a quarter trillion, I think. Like whenever we hit this guy, uh, you see here that, like 283 billion damage. That's the that's the that's the broken druid build. And then druid also has an insanely strong build, which is Wornado because of the thunderstruck passive that is basically uh, scaling um, up crazy with the new tempered effects because it benefits from close and distant damage and you can just scale this crazily. And this is the new Wornado stuff. And this is not even, you know, a strong version of the build. I'll show you a faster kill here. So this is the Uber Greg as well. So it's about, uh, I don't know, like a 10 second kill or something. So this is just normal Wornado. Like there's a chance to multiply the twisters on your weapon. And again, the uncapped uh, Thunderstruck passive. And yeah, it does way more than 17 damage. There's another video here where this guy kills the boss in like five seconds. So there's this one. This is not that great quality. But this is the same dude, just optimized setup. And you can see here. So Greg spawns. One, two, three, four, five, dead. About five seconds uh, killing the hardest boss in the game. This build is not bugged at all. It's just very, 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 very strong. Yep. And then we have something general here. This is just the um, elemental search uh, affix that is in the game. So uh, if you check here, you check for elemental search. I guess it's lucky hit, right? Yeah. So there's this this aspect here that does on lucky hit, you have a 40% chance to deal 23,000 weapon damage. And you know, you can upgrade this to over 100,000 on a two-hander. And it is pretty busted because we've seen earlier with the Sorg and the Stride aspect, when you have damage over 100,000, even though if it's only on a lucky hit, it can produce some insane numbers, especially for the Barbarian, which has four weapons to put this on. So you have this four times with like the generator builds, allowing crazy fast boss kills. I'll post some videos of that soon. 
Um, there is also the Rogue that has three weapons, allowing for some crazy fast boss kills. There's the Sword that has a bunch of lucky hit, um, allowing for crazy fast boss kills. Again, I don't really like, you know, want them to like nerf the fun out of the game, but they either need to increase the boss HP significantly, or they need to tune this down because I don't really think it's healthy for the game to go up to the new hardest boss in the game and just kill it in five seconds or one shot it. Like, I don't think this should exist. I like fun as well, but I don't think these kind of things sh should exist at all. And yeah, there's like a thing here from M1PI, like he's just like blasting through, like he's killing um, tormented uh, Greg and uh, blasting through like a, a run here, like I think it's tier, the hardest tier, tier 200. Again, like he kills these elites in like two hits or something on his rogue. And um, yeah, it's just like with this lucky hit. You can do the same on Barb, you can do the same on a Sork. And it's just really, really strong. And uh, I think really overtuned at the moment. So yeah, there's that. I, I think like, let's see the boss kill here finally. So just walk up to the, to the boss and... Uh, so here's the boss and boom, it dies in like you know, hardest pit, hardest rift level in the game just dies in like two seconds. And then, of course, there is uh, <laughs> the main offender of this PTR. It's actually not bugged. It's just extremely strong. And this is the um, Dust Devil Barbarian build that I've been playing. It's actually been so crazy. It's been crashing people's game. It's been going completely nuts. And I actually cleared the highest tier with this build just a couple hours after the um, PTR came out. Uh, here's us fighting uh, Uber and there you see this is an Uber boss. This is mainly me doing the damage and it's just the twisters. They, they are ticking for, what do we see here? Like they're ticking for 15, 17 million per tick on these twisters, which is completely out of this world, completely insane. Like, cause there's like so many hits on this. And uh, yeah, this is like the, the first clear I did like, like just after like a few minutes of this uh, stuff coming out and you guys can just see here like it's it's blitzing through this this crazy hard content and i also like fun and i like the dust devil but this is just madness you know like it's been crashing people's games uh, the party play will just you know <laughs> not exist like people will not want to play with a barbarian uh because it's just so overtuned at the moment so i'm just really happy guys that we we had a lot of fun on the PTR, don't get me wrong, but I'm just happy that we have this PTR. So these kind of builds are not there on the live server. I mean, this one is just an uh, overpowered one, but like the broken builds that we've been looking at, like the, the Necro here uh, hitting for like, just randomly hitting for like billions of damage um, for no reason, or obviously looking at the, um, the Hurricane, um, Druids, it's just, uh, you know, completely insane. But these kind of things, uh, like, even get into the game. Like, I don't know, like, how the math, uh, like, works for this kind of stuff. But, yeah, we have this kind of crazy builds, and we'll see what they do with it. I'm going to make sure I'm going to be, like, you know, sending all this, like, feedback here that we gathered. Also, a lot of, you know, like, just feedback in general, not only going over the broken stuff here, right? Like, again, I'll make a, a separate video here. Um, but yeah, this is the thing that I just want to like add to the feedback as well, because I've also added videos, like the things that I just showed you here to all of them, because these builds just seem way overtuned in comparison to what the current game has to offer. And this is the case for, for every class. Obviously you have some like crazy offenders, like the hurricane, you know, the dust devil, uh, the piercer shadow blight, like, and then you have just like these like very, very powerful builds, like Vernado is not bugged, or the, the Frozen Orb is not bugged, it's just like, you know, on a very, very high power scale. So we'll see uh, what they make of this, but I don't think we want like these kind of things in the game, or at least I don't want them in the game. So this is my feedback, and I just want to send it over and let me know in the comments, guys, if, if you agree or, or disagree with this list. Again, you can like watch this, I'm gonna put this in the description. You can like watch these videos to yourselves, uh, by yourselves. And yeah, check out these um, these other amazing content creators and um, check their videos. I only specifically included things uh, that I had a video evidence on because there was no time 
to play all these builds. I would have loved to, you know, play a, a rogue or like play a, a necromancer or play the sorcerer in particular. But there was just no time on the PTR. So I got to play like 90% of my feedback here. And I also said this here is, is mainly barbarian focused. And then I played a bit of Druid and then I talked to people. We have a big community and there's a lot of people making a lot of videos, especially uh, like uh, some of these, uh, you know, Chinese uh, uh, blaster videos here where you can see like this kind of stuff is just not really shared in the West. So I really hope that Blizzard can like see this and also address these kind of things because we don't really want the hardest boss fight in the game to look like this, do we? Hope you enjoyed the video, my friends. Take it easy. GG. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.